Cool. So I thought, you know, everybody's talking about chat GPT and I've been using it for a few months actually. Um, and so I thought, do you want to see something really cool? Um, so uh, what I'm going to do in this video is show you basically, for those of you who know nothing about chat GPT or how it can be used, going to give you a quick bit of exposure to it um, and to show you why it is so cool. So effectively, uh, for those of you not familiar with it, chat GPT is just effectively a robot. It's an AI that you can have a conversation with. Similar to the idea of Google, where you could just go and search and say, you know, search into Google, say, where do I find this or what I do? And Google will do its best to find that information for you. Except the difference is that in this particular case, it won't provide you with a list of other websites where you can go find the answers. It'll extract the data that it has and try to write you or provide you with an actual answer. Um, and that's the broad kind of idea. It's almost, if you've ever seen the Marvel movies, it's all similar to kind of Jarvis in the Marvel movies, where it's almost a virtual assistant. It's incredible. Uh, it is absolutely absolutely worthwhile just being aware of it and uh, it's very exciting to see the kind of developments. So one of the things that I want to show you today is well how as a trader could I take advantage of it um, and we're going to show you something here that was very cool that I wanted to have a go with uh, and uh, and so let's let me show you kind of what my idea is. So when I'm looking at a chart here one of the things that I want the ability to do potentially is to highlight possible trading setups that might occur. So I've got a simple 50 period moving average, a simple 20 and a simple 10 period moving average. Now, generally speaking, when they're in this formation where I've got price, then the 10, 20 and 50, then it is generally bullish. And in the other order here, when it's in a downtrend, lower highs, low lows, I have price below the 50, 20 and 10 in that particular formation, it's bearish. So what I would like to do is to create an indicator that will highlight these uh, potential setups. So generally speaking, when there's a trend, I would look to join the trend from within the moving averages in this area between the 10 and the 20 in this area. I'd like to be notified that there's a setup on any time frame and look to potentially then qualify a setup. So what I'm going to do here, the idea is because I'm not a programmer, the idea here is that I would ask chat GPT to help me write, uh, create an indicator that would at least highlight a potential setup that I can then go ahead and qualify a little bit further. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, so we're going to reorder this and then hopefully I can do that. Sorry, my nose is a bit itchy. Um, and so let's go across to the setup and have a look. Okay, so the other thing that's really exciting is that a particular version came out yesterday. So it's called GPT-4. It's smarter, more complex, essentially. Okay, it can do more things. But we're going to have a, a, a go uh, with it today. So what I want to do is to describe to it what I want it to do for me. Okay, so uh, I would, so I'm going to just say here that I would like to uh, create an indicator. And I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to specify that I want this for MT4. Okay, uh, and I'm going to tell it what I would like it to do. Okay, so I want to create an indicator for MT4 that, um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to describe what I want it to do. Uh, users, so I'm going to start by saying users the simple, let's say simple moving averages. And in fact, I'm going to be more specific, the 10, 20 and 50 simple moving averages to determine, because again, like Google, it depends on the quality of your question to determine the trend. And then I can go down and give it examples. If price is above the 10, 20 and 50. And specifically, let's say the 10 and 20 moving averages, uh, moving averages, I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the recording write it out and then take you through it. Cause otherwise you'll be like, I'm not typing fast enough and I'm going to bore you to death with that. Okay. So this is what I've settled on. I said, look, I want to create an indicator for NT4 that identifies candles that are located between the 10 and 20 simple moving averages. First thing I wanted to do. Then I say, look, let's call this area between the 10 and 20 moving averages, the zone. So that's clever because I'm helping myself there. I've abbreviated, I want to kind of talk about an idea. So I've just, get, I've said to it, look, this is the idea. I want to create a custom term that I'm going to use. So let's call this the zone. Then we use the order of the 10 and 20 and 50 simple moving averages to determine the trend. 
if the 10 and 20 are above the 50 moving averages, let's call it bullish. If the 10 and 20 moving averages are below the 50 moving average, it's considered bearish. I want to now identify bullish candlesticks in an uptrend with green arrows in the zone. And I want to identify bearish candlesticks in that area in a downtrend with red arrows. That's pretty much it. So I'm not a programmer, but that is kind of what I wanted to do. Now, and the beauty of this is that to a large degree, it's kind of forgiving. If you kind of explain it and you're not quite sure what to do, you might be amazed how close it gets to what you want, but you might have to adjust it a little bit. You might have to tweak it. Um, and so I'm going to go with that. So this is the thing, right? This thing can code in different languages. Let's see what happens. So it's just going to go ahead and print that code. Now, while it is doing that, I'm going to go to my platform. And so while it's doing that, I'm going to go to the platform in the background. I'm going to go here to the folder where it's going to be. And let's just go ahead. I'm going to go through to the indicators uh, folder through my, which is where you normally would create stuff. So there's a whole lot of default indicators that come with the program that have, have been applied. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna create one. So the suggestion was, and I can use the suggestion if I want, the suggestion was to call it this. So I'm gonna call it that, okay? So I'm gonna copy that. So I'm gonna call it the zone indicator. It's still writing the code. And I'm gonna to go to that folder. And I'm gonna create a new text document text document. This is it. And I'm just going to replace that file by putting the extension on in Windows. It's I'm doing this on Windows 11. It's going to know, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to change the, uh, the extension of the file, which is going to convert it from a text file into an executable file? Well, not a compiled executable, but just an executable. So it's created the indicator here. Now, when I double click on it, it's going to open this up in the uh, editor that comes with MT4 that uh, is where we can create the code. So basically it's an empty file. It's, there's nothing in it. I'm going to just close all these other ones there that are just other ones been playing with. Bring this across. So we'll just bring this across here and I'm going to just maximize that. So there's no content in this file. There's nothing in it. But what I'm going to do is when it's finished writing the code, I'm going to copy that code across. So let's just go back to this, save the file, restart the MT4 terminal, and this is the code. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do here is go up to the top and I'm just going to say copy the code. Okay. So that should be enough for me to go back to this, paste the code in here. So this is the code that it's produced for me. And now what I'm going to do is compile it. So if everything goes well, there won't be any compilation errors. It'll work, compile fine. So there's zero errors, which is pretty cool. And it's compiled it. Now I could just save it if I want to. I'm just gonna say save it, or it's saved effectively already. Now what I'm gonna do is go across to the, uh, to back to the platform. And I'm just gonna refresh. It, it, they, two ways you could do this. You could hit refresh, or you can restart the MT4 platform. So I'm gonna refresh it here. And I am going to go look for whatever we called it. It was the zones, the zones. It was called the zones. There we go. The zone indicator. And just a little observation. Often when it's gray, there's a little gray dot. That means it's either out of date. The code might be out of date or the code might not work. So if it's colored like this, if it's nice and gold, same color as that, it actually means it's already going to work. So I'm going to drag and drop this onto the chart. And it brings it up, the zone indicator. And uh, that's it. I remember because I just needed it to highlight stuff. I kept it very simple. I could go back now, give it the code and ask it to add certain features. Obviously, the more complicated it gets, the more possibility there is that it's going to create code bugs. But in theory, you could just keep going and testing it. So check this out. There we go. OK, so it is highlighted these bullish candlesticks. So let's go and have a look. So it's highlighted all these red candlesticks in this zone. Uh, and it's also highlighted bear. So those are bullish candlesticks, but it's highlighted candlesticks. You know what? I've just remembered something as well. It's highlighted green candlesticks in the zone. It's highlighted everything in that. So I'm going to go back and tell it to 
make sure that it highlights bullish candlesticks in the buy zone and bearish candlesticks in the sell zone. So let's go back to it. This is pretty cool. So let's go back to that. Um, and I'm going to say update the code to make sure make uh, sure that only bullish candlesticks sticks are highlighted in uptrends let's say or uh, in in uh, no no let's try uptrends and bearish candlesticks sticks are highlighted in downtrends. Okay, I've noted I've got uptrends and downtrends. So let's see what it says. Let's see what it does now. And then it goes to update the code. So that's interesting. So now what should happen is, uh, is that it should then go ahead and correct that. So I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I wanted to share this with you. I want to see what that updated thing is. So let, let me kind of pause this and we'll jump ahead when it's done and then we'll see if it's different. Okay, so here we are. It's added two new variables is bearish candlestick and so on. So let's see if this one works a little bit better. And sometimes it might be a case of just going back to the original thing, getting recreating it from scratch. But effectively, it's going to do its best with what you tell it to do. So let's go back. Let's copy the code. I'm going to put it, I'm going to replace it. I'm literally going to put it into the same file. I'm going to compile this. No errors should be there. And let's go back to the platform and let's see if this one is different. So it should be. I'm going to just go here into the indicators, delete this. The zone indicators, delete that. So they're gone. Uh, just zoom out a bit and go back in, refresh this, refresh it. And let's go back and have a look at uh, the zone. <laughs> I love the fact that it gave it a name. Um, there we go. Let's have a look and see if it's better. Okay, there we go. So this, this works a lot better. So there we go. Let's um, take these off so we can move along. Now you can see it's only highlighted the, the bearish candlesticks in that area, which is phenomenal. I'm sorry, but this is being a non-coder that is just outstanding. There's a couple where I think I would have liked it to highlight this candle. That was a good setup. Uh, and I can probably make it more complex, more sophisticated would be the right word, not complex. Um, but it's been pretty good. A couple of losing trades over here, which actually that wouldn't trigger. That would be a losing trade. Um, majority of these should have gone on. They are not bad. Seems to have missed a setup here that would have qualified. Um, and so probably there's different ways I could go about and expand it. But I just wanted to show you how cool that was. A broad overview that I got this thing to write me an indicator that I couldn't have done on my own anyway. And I, I did it in, we are here about 12 minutes. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys found this instructive and useful and hopefully this is the only the beginning. This is going to make a huge difference to uh, to everybody in all walks of life, not just traders. But I wanted to show you, everyone's talking about this. It's a buzz thing. How can we use it? How can it be practical? Here you go. That's it. So uh, there we go. Enjoy.